Ah, hello there! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Jose here, welcoming you to another quick update. So I am finally back from Madrid, from the Madrid Comic Con. And I'm sorry to say, I have to admit, it's probably one of the least satisfying Comic Cons I've ever been to. Probably the least ever. And I've been to Madrid Comic Con before. I've been to London, I've been to Barcelona, I've been to Manchester, I've been to my local one in Valencia. And this one, it just, it was not great. There was no bus around the venue. Um, access to the international DC comic artists and writers was really difficult. I mean, gates open at 11 in the morning and there were people queuing from 8, half past 8 in the morning. So by the time I got into the venue, the queue to get tickets for the signatures of uh, James Tinian and Alvaro Fernandez Bueno were just... Um, Martina one, I'm sorry. It was just hum it went inside the venue all the way around and I just gave up. But in any case, I managed to get uh, signatures from Eduardo Rizzo, so that's pretty cool because now my 100 bullets is signed by both Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Rizzo, so that's pretty cool. He also signed my volume one of uh, Moonshine, uh, which I did a review, so check it out, and 100 bullets as well. I'll leave links in the description below. If you haven't seen my reviews of those comics, and he confirmed that the promo card that came with the Moonshine comic is actually hand signed by both of them as well. And usually with these promo cards, I tend to sort of hang them, frame them in my wall over there. So that was all right, that was quite cool. Then I met um, Frank Galan, which is a Spanish artist who drew the Goya comic, it's like a thriller. Uh, written by uh, Juan Antonio Torres around the figure of Goya, the Spanish painter. And now my first page of that comic looks really cool because it's, it's got sketches by both Frank Galan and uh, Juan Antonio Torres. So that first page now looks really, really cool. Anyway, and then I got a couple of book, a couple of comic books of um, this, this, this publishing company that all they do is comics based on historical events of Spanish history. It's kind of battles, uh, personalities, biographies. So I got one bi a biography of Elizabeth II, or Isabel II, the Spanish queen, not the British one. Uh, so I met the author and the artist and a bit of sketch and a signature, so it's there. And I also got a comic about Don Gonzalo Fernández de Córdoba, El Gran Capitán, so the great captain of the Catholic kings during the reconquest of Granada and the battles in, in Italy. Uh, so there's another biography there, quite cool and also signed by the author. So that was that. But um, yeah, it was a bit of a um, for not, well it wasn't a trip for not, but it wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. But in any way, it also allowed me to see my family in Madrid and I went to a really cool craft beer bar in Madrid and sample a couple of beers there, so that was really nice, and then I was back home on Sunday afternoon. But now, live streams for November, live streams for November, this is going to be uh, quite awesome. So, on Sunday the 13th of November, at 5pm Central European time, over at Steve Talks Books channel, so with Steve, we're going to be discussing the... Uh, V for Vendetta comic by Alan Moore. Uh, we had a live chat back in summer about Watchmen, uh, so now it's V for Vendetta. So that would be happening. I think for now it's only Steve and I, but I think anyone else, if you want to join in, you're more than welcome. And then I am really, really excited about this because I've got no idea 
what's going to happen. And Ian from BNB Books, who's going to be joining the live stream, doesn't know what's going to happen. We are diving blind into help us choose our next big fantasy series read along for 2023. So we don't know what we're going to be reading next year. All we know is that we want to do another read along. So we did Wheel of Time in 2021 and the beginning bit of this year. And we did a couple of live chats there and we both hated it with a passion. Uh, I think I still got to do one more video this year shitting all over the Wheel of Time because I think I need to do that. Warning, if you're a Wheel of Time lover. But we don't know what's going to happen. Ian and I, we're just going to sit down. Anyone is welcome to chip in. I'll crack open a couple of beers. And um, I've got like five different series that we haven't read. We're trying to go in as blind as we can about them. So I'm going to be presenting them. Ian doesn't know which ones I've selected. And we're going to have a chat about them, see what we know, what we don't know, decide. It could even be the case that we don't even pick any of those five series that I have pre-selected. Maybe he's got some other ideas. Maybe you have got some other ideas and want to steer us into a better path. It's just going to be an awesome fantasy book chat. Having a couple of beers, talking fantasy books, what we're going to be doing next year. And um, and as usual, we're just going to go off in different directions. We're going to go off on tangents. We're just going to have a chat. And that's going to be on Sunday, the 27th of November at 8 p.m. Central European time over at this channel here. And it's going to be brilliant. It's going to be awesome. We don't know what's going to happen. And then we've got the month of December to sort of gather the first book or books or whatever it is. And we'll be maybe doing periodical live chats about it. That's really exciting. That's going to be awesome. Don't know what's going to happen. And it'd be great if any of you that have got any strong opinions about any big fantasy series that we haven't read, if you want to chip in and steer us into the right or the wrong direction, you never know what's going to happen. But anyway, this is what I had for this week. As usual, everyone, thank you ever so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Take loads and loads of care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!